Hey there, Magic One. Just before we get into your tarot reading, I wanted to jump in super quick, I promise, just with a few announcements for you. Should you want to arrange a personal reading or healing for yourself, you can do so at any time by either clicking the link to my website down below or visiting wildlotustarot.com. I do have a new little offering which I think is, is kind of cute. It's actually the most affordable way to get guidance from me and in that reading I draw you a single tarot card from the beautiful Star Child Tarot and write you a handwritten letter about my interpretation of that card for you and I post it to your letterbox. You can now show your support by becoming a member of my channel. If you head to my channel page and click the join button, there's a video there where I describe in detail what I'm offering for my two different levels of membership. Don't forget the doors are always open to the initiation. That is my immersive learn tarot journey. You can sign up at any time and receive lifetime access to all of the learning materials, videos, online learning modules, practices. Uh, and in that course, I, I am teaching my signature process to learn how to read tarot, not just from the head, but from the heart um, and go beyond the traditional card meanings and, and how to put it all together and thread it into a story as well. So that's available at any time. I'll also link that down below for you. You can find me on Instagram if you'd like to stay connected and hear a little bit more about me. Uh, you can find the link down below or you can find me at wild underscore lotus underscore tarot. I would love to have you over there with me as well. Till next time, sending you so much love and magic. Let's get on with your reading. Cancer, welcome to your tarot reading for June 27th through to July the 3rd. Let's see what may be on the cards for you, Cancer. I've got the nine card block, three recent past, three focus energy, three future outcome. I've got oracles. I've got two lead tarot energies that came out and I've turned over the bottom of the deck for you as well. All right, Cancer, I've got an interesting energy going through here. I mean, we've got the seven of swords. We've got two lots of five of swords in the moon. We, we got un undercurrents here, okay? We've got energy that is not clear. We've got potential secrets. Um, it feels like a challenging situation here, okay? Uh, we do have a certain amount of pentacles energy here. So, you know, it feels like it's really, um, it, it's been destabilizing for you in some way, the situation. The pentacles may indicate this is happening around home, uh, work money for some of you. I am also feeling twin flame journey, not something I say very often, but with the lovers and the moon here, um, I'm just feeling a really deep, like karmic connection, maybe from a past life as well. We'll get to all of that. Let's start with the oracles. Um, I have the karma card and it says there's nothing from a past life that can't be addressed in the current life. Now, um, you know, you you may or may not believe in reincarnational past lives. Um, I do. And it feels like whoever you're dealing with, you've had more than one lifetime with them, okay? And that is why there is this magnetization of you together. Now, this could be with a romantic partner. If so, I'm feeling twin flame energy, okay? Uh, as such a powerful magnetization towards each other, but also so much drama and so much you know difficulty when when you are it's like really really good or really really bad kind of energy um this could be somebody that you know you work with or somebody who has control or authority over you as well and the reason why you have this lifetime again with them is because this is meant to be resolved okay that's what i'm feeling here now conclusions are within reach it does feel like things are, are, are moving towards some kind of climax here, some kind of peak. Now, I feel that is going to be one of you moving on. Okay, the Eight of Cups is at the end of the reading here. Um, we'll get to that. But it also feels like there is some deep confusion around that Seven of Cups. It's like there is a, a dream here that you, you know, you'd hoped would become a reality in this situation like the seven of cups can be there's so much promise here i've been promised a lot but it's not really been delivered right you could be with someone who who does a lot of talking but not a lot of walking that walk walking that talk okay all talk no action hollow promises 
um, that very thing that you've been promised just being kept at an arm's length. I don't love the Seven of Cups energy. It feels a little bit deceptive, to be honest, especially when it's in the reading with the Moon and the Seven of Swords. It can even be somebody who is manipulating the situation for their own game. Now, the Lovers and the Five of Swords here, we have a very conflicting situation here, whether it's you feeling conflicted or the situation actually, um, you know, turns into conflict, feeling verbal conflict. Um, that is a possibility as well. It's like, you know, we've got it next to the lovers. We've basically got the most harmonious energy next to one of the most abrasive energies. And then we've got the moon here that shows the tame dog wild wolf. So I feel like you might be dealing with somebody who has two sides, two faces, who can be that tame little puppy dog and then they can change and be like aggressive in some way or unreasonable or irrational. This could also be indicative of how the partnership, whether it's personal or professional, feels. It's either when it's good, it's really, really good, and when it's bad, it's terrible, okay? So, but at the end of the day, this is some kind of karmic contract or karmic tie. So it's like it keeps magnetizing back together. Well, that's what I got. So the moon, six of pentacles, ace of pentacles. We have a very out of balance situation here with somebody who's clearly got power over you is what I'm feeling. Power or authority who is really just giving you enough to keep you in there, Cancer. Enough to keep you interested. Enough to keep you there. But not enough to meet your needs, to make you feel stable, you feel secure, okay? Um, that could be part of the agenda here. Now the moon talks about undercurrents, it talks about secrets, it talks about people that may not be emotionally available. So I feel like there is another side to this person or there is more to them that you don't really know about and maybe they just give you the best side, right? Seven of Cups, they give you the shiny exterior. But there is more to this person, there's more to this situation than, than you know of, right? Now, this whole situation could have come about because somebody made a promise for, to you, you know, Ace of Pentacles, like, um, and this is a, the, you know, promise of commitment. This could be the promise of um, money or a pay rise or opportunity, but it comes at definitely some kind of cost with the Seven of Swords, right? And I do feel that it hasn't been fully realized here. So we've got the King of Pentacles, Seven of Swords, and the Ten of Pentacles. It could even be somebody who has been taking money or creaming off the top, maybe off your hard work here as well, um, is what I'm feeling. Because the King of Pentacles is somebody who loves the good things in life, right? Loves to be in charge, loves to build money, loves to build an empire. But with the Seven of Swords at the center of the reading, there is something dishonest here about it. It could be they're being dishonest with you or it could be that this little empire that they're seeming to build is built on dis from dishonesty or dishonest means okay that's what I'm feeling here um and I think that you might be coming up against this this information or this truth cancer and I think that the cards are saying it's time for you to take some pretty powerful action here with the magician and that action I feel is moving away okay because you have a certain amount of what you're looking for in this situation but there's one fundamental piece missing it's the ace of cups it's the fact that my cup's not being full or not as full as it could be maybe it's cause of that very piece that this person is withholding from you how can i get to the higher stages how can i get to the wish fulfillment the ninth cup the tenth cup the blessed life living Instead, it feels like all of the glory or all of the power, all of the money or all of the, they're holding the key to that. But you need to unlock your potential as well, Cancer, and you actually have everything within yourself to go off and make it on your own is what I'm feeling. Because with the Five of Swords in the reading, you know, it's often that there is no clear winners here. It's like always going to go back and forth to this kind of ab harmony, abrasion, harmony, abrasion you know as you know a twin flame situation would and there's really no clear winners and sometimes it is time for separation or to go your own way yeah that's how it feels to me and that conclusion is within reach oh akashic records yeah this is my card of destiny there is a huge karmic tie here you know um 
you might know the concept of the Akashic Record just quickly Cancer all of our souls have a record of the the key lessons that we've moved through in our past lifetimes those that we've signed up for in this lifetime when I see this card in the reading it, it tells me that one of the files from your Akashic Record is being loaded this is a karmic situation that you are being asked to break that cycle to move on from it Queen of Cups and that's how you move towards your power you are the Queen of Cups there's a strong element of you needing to trust your intuition trust that moon energy trust what you're feeling trust the emotional undercurrents that are running through you because I feel moving on from this karmic contract this twin flame energy um, this person this employer whoever it is for you that is your hidden blessing you are breaking the karmic bond so cancer that's what I have for you I hope that resonates for the person it's meant for the people it's meant for do keep in mind it's a general reading for the collective it may or may not resonate for you drop me a comment I do read them all and try to connect with you all over there as well hit subscribe only 30% of you that watch my videos are subscribers and it's, it is very important for you to subscribe if you want to keep the readings coming it helps my channel and you will then be notified when I uh, post new videos and that is the energy exchange I see between us I'm wishing you much love and magic for your week ahead cancer do take care bye for now